This is lesson number one in the individual power strategy. George Donnelly here. Today I'm talking about the central role of faith. Now, when I think of faith, I go back to Catholic uh, school and I think about faith in God. Not what I'm talking about. Not at all. What I'm talking about is faith in yourself and faith that everything will turn out all right. Okay? What's the opposite of it? How do you know if you don't have it? You're dominated by negative self-talk. When you try to do something new, something that you want to do, something that you feel mm, is important to your future, the fear inevitably comes on, comes on for all of us, but you give in to it and you don't do what you what you need to do, which could be uh, applying for a job, asking for a raise, trying to get on a new project, uh, pitching a, uh, a freelance project, uh, speaking to a girl, speaking to a guy, uh, whatever it is that you feel is important for your future. But when you go to do it, you fall short. Okay. Now, uh, libertarians were very uh, rational people for the most part. We go on um, evidence, fact, logic, argument, reason. So to talk about faith, um, I know that I, in the past, have had a very negative reaction to it. Okay, but the fact is that if you you know you can also call it believing in yourself, but that sounds trite. The fact is, if you don't have faith, and if you approach everything in your life from a rational point of view, you will, you will inevitably come up with a negative and skeptical point of view. And in order to have what we're talking about here is you achieving success in whatever it is you want to do with your life, whatever you consider um, your mission in life, your dream job your ideal living situation or ideal lifestyle, uh, the goals that you have. Because you look at anything. You look at people who are starting a restaurant, people who are writing a book, people who are uh, st um, starting a website and, or a blog and trying to make money from that via advertising or whatever. People, Even people who start college or start high school. You look at the marriages, marriages too. You look at the statistics and you'll see most people trying to do these things fail. And then from a rational point of view, you'll say, well, I'll probably fail too. Okay. But uh, I'm going to challenge that rational point of view here for a second. The greatest determiner, determinant of your success in any endeavor, big or small, is your level of faith that you can do it. It's not your skill set. It's not whether you went to college or not. It's not what college you went to, what you majored in. It's not your work experience. It's not your LinkedIn profile. Um, it's not your eye color. It's not your height. It's none of that. It's it, 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 Paradoxically, the determinant, the greatest determinant of your success is whether you believe you can do it or not. Now, I've proven this over and over again, and I have, I've had uh, many different careers in my life. Um, I'll tell you about one situation. Uh, I was uh, teaching English in Japan, and the internet came along. I finally got an apartment. I got a place that I could get internet access, and I thought, this is my thing. I, I want to be in on this. And uh, I, I want to keep this story short, but uh, I studied history in college, okay? Um, I never really studied computers. Uh, I did fine at math and science, but I never, I didn't really know that much about computers, much less about uh, Unix, Linux, uh, you know, open source software, um, the Apache stack, uh, programming, uh, you know, shells, uh, command line interfaces, okay? I didn't know anything about this, but I was determined to start an internet business. And I spent months teaching myself uh, this while working a full-time job. 
and I started a business. And I had many setbacks along the way. Um, there were months I spent with just the same six customers. <laughs> and then I lost a couple and I seriously thought about, about giving up on it. And many times I felt like an imposter because I saw that other people, competitors, uh, and even customers had a greater background in computer science and Unix and all this stuff than I did. <clears throat> but I really wanted to do this and I had a weird faith that I could do it. And I persisted and uh, I, you know, it was a very successful business for me for uh, about 10 years. And eventually I became quite an expert in it. Um, I actually uh, automated my systems to a large extent. I managed uh, more than 100 servers. I, I could go into all the details, but I think it would bore you. Bottom line, here I am, Mr. Liberal Arts, trying to start a, uh, a, a business based on Unix, on me knowing how to use Unix computers, secure them, uh, make them do what the customer wants, install different software. Mr. Liberal Arts guy, I did it because I had faith that I could do it, okay? So whatever it is you wanna do, you wanna write a book, you wanna start a business, your first step, your first step towards achieving your goal, towards uh, bringing the prosperity into your life, towards whatever, is to have faith that you are capable of doing it. And you have to have, that faith has to overlap um, your logical and rational skepticism. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> uh, this week, I would like you to imagine for just a second, as an exercise to apply this lesson, that you had have complete faith in your ideal path. I, I assume here you have an ideal path you or a goal that you want to achieve, a mission that you feel that you have in life, something like that. If not, we'll work on that in a future lesson. But I want to imagine for, for a second that you had complete faith, that you were com felt completely qualified 100% prepared for this goal, ideal path, whatever, whatever it is you want. Just, just imagine yourself, you know, put yourself into an alternate universe or an alternate future uh, where you are fully qualified and capable in your opinion. What's the first step you're going to take? 